Trudy, please. Hi guys. In today's video, I'm going to be recreating the Season 3 Shopkins character, Macaroon. And this is a super cute character. I think making these in all different colors would be really fun. So this was requested on Instagram and as well as YouTube, I believe, by the user SamDan80. So thanks for that. So for this um, little guy, we're going to be using this really nice blue color. And I believe it's the turquoise. Let me just double check. This is this is what I've been using, so it's getting kind of low, but it's the Primo Sculpey, and it is the turquoise color. So I know someone had asked before what kind of clay I use. Really, it's just sort of a mixture between Primo and Sculpey. Um, I do have some Fimo, the Fimo Soft, but I find for sculpting, the Primo and the Sculpey is a little bit better because it doesn't get as soft. So I'm going to be using a slightly bigger size ball for the top or for the bottom because you have to make enough room here for the face. Cat hair on there. <laughs> so you're going to be using two two sizes, and then we have two little hands as well as two feet and then also a piece of white clay that we're going to flatten out and that's going to be for the the middle so i have peachy and super celery in the back here being all healthy <laughs> macaroons i guess are okay once in a while but and i've never actually had one before so let me know in the comments below if you guys have had one and whether they're good or not so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I created this little guy who's kind of wobbly, but he is, his feet are flat there on the bottom, but I think it's just this type of surface. He doesn't really stand very well. So what I'm going to do is kind of dome the clay a bit so it'll be flat and then rounded on the top. And I'm going to do that for the bottom as well. So I think actually I'll make this one the top, so it's a bit flatter, and this one is a bit, a bit bigger because I want to make sure I have enough room for the face. So to make the little edge, I'm just going to take my little wooden tool and just push down. So just make little little indents around the outside and it doesn't have to be perfect because it it makes some um, really co cool little texture it doesn't uh, have to be like exact you just kind of have some fun with it so there so you can see the little texture on there and then I'm going to do the same for the other side as well. So you can get all your little frustrations out on the clay. <laughs> so there you go. And then you can just add more to it once you get it together. So I'm going to take the little white piece of clay and flatten it down. And you can make like little patterns around the outside. I didn't do that with this one, but when I was looking at the picture of Macaroon, it looked like it had some little designs in it. So you can do that before you go ahead and bake it. So I'm just going to pop that down and then pop our other one on there. and then just kind of fiddle with it to get it the way that you like and then you might have to go back and just kind of fix this up a little bit okay and then we're going to take our little feet pop them together and let's see here I think maybe this part will probably be 
probably be best for the the face. So we'll leave enough room here for the two little eyes and then the little mouth. Super happy little smile there. So I'm just going to make that indent and then on either side we'll put the little hands on there. And like so. So there's our little macaroon character. So we're going to go ahead and bake him according to the package which is um, 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So once you guys have um, baked your little macaroon and let it cool down a bit then you can go in and add the little details. So for this one we have the two little eyes and two little eyebrows and then a little red mouth. And then all I did with this one was just glaze it once with the triple thick glaze. And for obviously for the eyes and that I just used the acrylic paint. So, so I will add that to our little collection up here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And thanks again to SamDan80 for the suggestion. And let me know in the comments below which ones you guys would like to see next. So we'll see you guys soon. Bye!